Hi guys, Machine Dana. How are we doing really, really well? Are you having a great day? In this very short video, I'm going to show you how you can watch multiple streams from the same browser using essentially like an iframe type function, seamlessly to be able to switch between the chats, but also at the same time, you've got the content from both streams there. I believe you can have like almost like an infinite amount of streams on this tool as well. If you're anything like me, you probably want to do a lot of collaborations with different streamers and that kind of thing. Collaborations with different streamers always make a really big difference. They're a lot of fun to do. They add a different dynamic to your stream and they also are a nice way of sharing your community with someone else's and of course them sharing their community with you. Also provide something different as well for the viewers. So in this video I'm going to show you what tool I use, how to set it up and really how to get the, the best from it. If you do find this useful I'd appreciate a thumbs up on the video. Feel free to subscribe and if you want to ask me any questions about streaming please feel free to check me out at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana. Let's go. Okay, so the tool that I've always used, and I've always found it really, really useful, easy to use, easy to set up, easy to update, and is very well optimized for browsers, performs pretty well. I don't seem to have any issues with it. In fact, I've never had any issues with this. I use a tool called multitwitch.tv. It's created by a guy called Brian Hamrick. So shout out to Brian. Um, great tool you've created here, man. I really appreciate it. Does he have a Twitch? Maybe he's got a Twitch. After a quick bit of digging, I've been able to establish that he does indeed have Twitch. Uh, he's twitch.tv forward slash extra tricky. He's actually an MIT graduate from 2014, so he's obviously a very clever guy. Check extra tricky out on Twitch. I'm going to give him a little cheeky follow now. So how does this work? Really, really dead simple. It uses the URL information to hook in the username data and then pull in only the important elements of Twitch that you need. So the chat and also the video frames. So if I want to just do a quick, say we add nutty, if I'm doing a nutty, so let's say if I'm doing a stream collab with nutty as an example, machine Dana, you literally just have to add the, the username of the two Twitch people in the URL and it will pull in the relevant items. And that's how it works. There's no settings. You don't have to pre-configure anything. You literally put multitwitch.tv forward slash the first username, which will go at the top and the second username. But you can also add extra usernames and I'll demonstrate that as well. So let's just demonstrate two for the time being. Nutty, I think Nutty's live at the moment. Um, check Nutty out if you've not already seen his videos about streaming and so on he's a really really good streamer and content creator on youtube so check him out so i'm offline at the moment but this is how you see the layout so let me just move the camera to the right hand side here to the left hand side it basically optimizes the windows to be the maximum size whilst also maintaining the same aspect ratio i think the aspect ratio is it looks like 16 by 9 i think it is uh, and as you can see you've got quite a lot of space here to work with in terms of the visual content the other nice thing here is you can just flick between the two chats here wait no, he's got way more gifted subs than me. Mind you, he has got a lot more followers, so I'll let him off. You can see the two bits of content, and you can adjust the volume independently on the different frames as well. Just having a quick look at the code base here by kind of right clicking and clicking on page source so yeah it uses iframes and it uses the embed underscore code so that's yeah so it uses iframes and it does allow full screens on the iframes i think it then does the, the same with chat chat dash nutty chat dash machine and that's how it how it works i'm not a coder but this is really simple straightforward code he's really optimized this as best as he could so that's how you do it let's just try adding one more um Harris Heller? that's what it looks like with three there you go. And let's just try adding one more just for the sake of demo. I think the, the thing that's going to stop you from being able to add a lot of streams here is potentially your PC rather than the software, <laughs> the iframes. Uh, Sam Woodall. There we got Sam in there as well. Yeah, so it optimizes the full width of the screen that you've got available whilst maintaining this 16 by 9 aspect ratio and being able to jump between all of the different chats here. Hey, wait, Sam and Harris don't have any subs. They, uh... <laughs> They reset weekly, whereas me and Nutty reset monthly, I think. <laughs> Cool, okay. Um, in terms of getting the most from this, um, whenever you're doing a col collaboration stream, I definitely recommend copying that URL. Uh, if you're like me, you use Streamlabs. I know people probably, ooh, Streamlabs, ooh, it's terrible. I don't I don't find Streamlabs too bad, I like it. Go into commands within Streamlabs Cloudbot and create a custom command called something like collab. And then uh, forward slash me will color the text of this command when it returns in chat. We are doing a collab stream with, uh, I don't know, Sam, Harris, and Nutty. But why do I keep saying butty? Ooh, butty, butty. And then check it out there. When people then do the command in chat, I can just do exclamation point collab. 
and then the link will come up and people can just click on that and you can shout each other out. I believe that the views do count for everyone up to a certain number. I think you can have from your IP up to like maybe four or six viewers counting as views on Twitch before Twitch then starts to say, wait a minute, something funky is going on here. And when we've tested this before, me and some of my streamer friends, why is he picking his nose? <laughs> Stop picking your nose, nutty. I believe that they do still count as, as views. I know that's particularly important for the small to medium sized streamers. You want to be making sure that each other are getting the views if you are directing people to look at both streams. This is particularly useful if you're doing like collabs and drinking games and stuff like that. Obviously, when you get to partner, you can use stream teams or whatever it's called but for those of you that are not partner maybe you're just affiliate and you're making your way towards partner this is a really good alternative and it's really really solid reliable and the stream quality is really good as well i've noticed that there's no real loss of quality and of course people get the benefit of being able to easily and quickly switch between chats so there you have it, a really easy way to be able to have multiple streams on the same browser and have a really good experience either for you, if you're one of the viewers and you want to be doing it yourself, or if you're doing collaborations with other streamers and you want to be able to share a link to a good resource. Shout out once again to Brian for creating that resource for people. There may be others out there, I've not really tested them, frankly, because that one's always been good enough. Once again, if you found it useful, feel free to thumbs up the video and I'll see you guys later. Take care.